Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube table tennis channel. Mr. Takio here. You're probably wondering, and what is Takio that I have seen written on your channel? Well, I will be explaining to you in a moment. First of all, welcome to another great table tennis video that I have made exclusively for you that are watching. A big hello and a big thank you to everybody, to all of my subscribers who have subscribed to my channel and that always watch my videos all the way to the end. All right, so get ready because today I'm bringing another wonderful and extremely great video for, for you. So like I said, what is Mr. Takio? And what is Takio actually? A lot of you don't know this, but Takio is the Japanese name for table tennis. And why did I chose the name Takio? Because, well, the Japanese are the ones who actually invented the modern table tennis games. Yes. He came out of England possibly and he started in Japan more or less about the same time. It is it's actually an enigma. Most people don't know exactly where the, the game came from, possibly from England or Japan about the same time. But here's the deal. The Japanese invented the modern game. They invented the sponge. They invented the rubber. They invented the top spin. So the Japanese are the fathers of the modern table tennis game. And they call it Takyu. What does Takyu mean? Takyu means a game that is played on a table. So get ready because Mr. Takyu is bringing a wonderful table tennis video for you today. Make sure that you subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. What are you waiting for? I have a lot of great videos on my channels of table tennis exclusively for you. And also do not forget to hit like and share this video with your friends. All right, so let's get started. I have a great video for you today that you surely don't want to miss. I guarantee you that if you really want to improve in table tennis. So the title is Lifting Spinny Shops in Table Tennis. Whoa, extremely important. I am sure that many of you are wondering how to attack those very difficult underspin spinny shops from your opponent. They could be extremely frustrating. Okay, so I'll be sharing with you three tips. Keep in mind three great tips of how to lift, lift top spin those very pesky on the spins against your opponent okay so keep in mind that this video i will be focusing on the forehand lift okay and the next video that i will be posting after this one i'll be focusing on the backhand lift so for those of you i forgot to mention who don't know me uh, my name is Josman, and i am actually a usatt certified table tennis instructor here in the state of florida but you can call me mr Takio. all right let's get started so tip number one the closer that the ball passes over the net the more upwards you must spin the ball. Okay, listen to that. It means that you got to watch whenever the ball is coming. If you see that the ball is going to go a little bit higher up into the net, a couple of inches on top of the net, it means that the ball is going to land a little bit higher on your side. I'm meaning, I'm meaning the chop, okay? The opponent slice or chop. It's going to land a little bit higher on your, on your side. So those are the best shots that you can actually make top spinning the ball or lifting the ball if the ball is going to pass a little bit lower on top of the net you got to be careful because if you go try to lift that ball it may still hit the net so i recommend try only the ones that are very a little bit high on top of the net possibly like about two inches inches or so because those are going to hit a little bit higher on your side. Okay, you got that. So the next one is extremely important as well. Make sure you write it down. The faster the chop is coming towards you, okay, the more also you must spin the ball up, okay, because the faster that the chop or the slice is coming at you, not only that it has underspin, but it's also going to rebound on your racket harder. So that means that as soon as you touch it, that ball is gonna try to go down. So those are the shots that you need to do a little bit more up. You see, I'm demonstrating for you now. The key is start down whenever the ball is coming, let it hit the table, let it go up. And then when the ball starts to go down, you swing your racket down and then try to graze the ball upwards. Upwards, not forward. Because if it has a lot of shock, you're going to eat the net. So try to do it upwards. Let me do it for you. You see, this is extremely important. Check it out. Okay, 
If it's a very heavy chop, this is the way you do it. If it has a little bit more on the spin, you go more, you put, you put your arm more straight upwards than like this. You do it like this with the L shape whenever the chop is not too heavy. You can definitely do it like this. You see, with acceleration, 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 very important, but with doing it with the L shape. That's when the shop doesn't have too much spin, but if it has a lot of spin, make sure you do it like this. You go more upwards, lifting your arm all the way up with acceleration, but more up, up, fast. The faster, the better. The faster you contact the ball, the better. The more you accelerate up the back, you see? If it's a heavier chop, you go more upwards. Strengthening your arm. If it's less, then you do it more short and still with great acceleration. You got that? All right, so let's go for the last one. Try not to continue lifting spinny shots, but rather lift one and push. What do, why do I mean by that? I see a lot of great players, for example, they do a great top spin against a shot. They were able to lift that ball. But now, if you're playing against a good player, he chops the ball back, and that ball is carrying a lot more underspin. So it's more difficult for you to actually lift the second one or the third or the fourth ball. If you can continue doing that, first of all, you're really going to get tired, and it's going to be more difficult because his chop has a lot of underspin. When you generate your top spin, okay, it bounces on the other side full of top spin. And whenever the opponent chops the ball hard, it's your top spin that the ball is carrying and the chop that he gave it is returning back to you with twice as much underspin. So it's a lot more difficult. Okay, so what I do recommend is lift one and then wait. If he chops the ball, push the ball back, chop it back. Wait again, wait until he pushes the ball again. And then when he pushes the ball, it has a lot less spin. And then boom, go ahead and attack that second shot. Then do the same. Okay, you got that? Extremely, extremely easy. It's not that difficult once you get the hang of it. So there you go. Do not miss the next video that I will be posting in a couple of minutes. I will be focusing on how to do it from the backhand side as well. All right, so do not forget to subscribe and hit the like button and share it with your friends. I'll see you on the next video. Mr. Taki over here. Bye-bye.